Congratulations, it's settlement week. At the Nellis Group, we've been diligently pursuing all of the removals, whether it was a financing, home inspection, radon, whatever it is, even appraisal, to get you to these final days. Couple things to keep in mind. One, utilities. Always turn utilities off as a seller for the day after settlement. So if you're settling on Monday, don't have them go off until Tuesday. If your settlement is on a Friday, make sure they're not going off till Monday. Here's the caveat. As the seller, you have to have everything in normal working order. Well, if you call off utilities on a Friday and the buyer hasn't turned them on yet and there's no utilities there, they can either delay settlement or ask for a large escrow from you. We don't want to see that happen. As far as money goes, they will disperse in DC and Maryland, they'll disperse at the table. You get your money then. In Virginia, it takes up to two days to record. So make sure you bring a check that you can void and especially your accounting and routing numbers so you can get paid once everything's been processed. Keys, remotes, all of those things, we get that question, where do I put them, what does it look like? Make sure that when you're closing out and you're leaving the property that you put all of that in the kitchen, uh, in the drawer or the cabinet, let your Nellis Group real estate agent know where you put them so that when the buyer does their final walkthrough, we can explain where to find everything. Thank you again for trusting the Nellis Group as your real estate agent. If you have any questions prior to settlement, definitely reach out so we can answer everything and you feel comfortable going in for settlement day.